Shalom and good day all. This is, this is Tehillim29 back again for another DC review and in this DC review I'll be covering the Dawn of DC Primer followed by Titans by Tom Taylor. So I'll get things prepared for the first one that I'll be reviewing first. So the first one that I'll be covering in the review will be the Dawn of DC Primer. And as you can see here, we've got a bit of a wraparound cover. And this is one of the first things that actually uh, will be getting the rating. And that is the cover rating. So does this cover in any way, shape or form connect to something that is connected inside with the story? Sure enough, it does. To which I give a 7.5 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the area of the internal art as we look around the beginning middle and of course the end so for this one i might as well just go through the whole thing of what we've got here um, as we see here we've got the characters of the superman family uh, the bat family of course wonder woman and the titans now as we see here we've got the character of Amanda Waller and she seems to be going to a bit of an undisclosed location and uh, I must admit um, to anyone who has seen Young Justice this scene here reminds me of this scene here reminds me of like in the Young Justice animated series where one of the villains uh, meets up with a group who call themselves the light and what the light is is it's a group of people who are basically a bunch of villains who remain unknown to each other but they do know who they are but in this case they're letting themselves be unknown to amanda waller and of course she's got to go past the Hall of Justice to get to where she needs to go. So this in turn may in a way connect to maybe a new Legion of Doom um, working behind the scenes. Of course we've got the stuff happening in relation to Got the stuff in relation to Peacemaker and some of the things that are happening here. Of course, we get to see the cast of heroes along with villains. We get to see a little bit more in regards to some of the events that are occurring. Though, um, why this bit is in here, I don't know. It shouldn't be in there. And last but not least, the end of the story. We, of course, get our character profiles. Just going through the character profiles here for you. Oh, by the way, please ignore that um, this particular John Kent's first appearance um, is in Son of kal issue 1, not where they say here. Uh, because this is the Tom Taylor one, which connects to the Bendis run. On top of that, uh, the Doom Patrol and the Titans. I, personally, I think I'm going to enjoy... The World's Finest Teen Titans by Mark Wade over the Tom Taylor. And that is pretty much all for that. Uh, for the internal art, I give a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move in relation to the story. As you got to see there, in relation to the story by Joshua Williamson. Um, did we get any comic references? No, there should have been some. Uh, 
The next is time, no indication of time. Next area was location. I think another location which might also help is um, knowing which multiverse Earth that some of this is playing out on. Um, uh, we had Metropolis, we had Gotham, we had Themyscira, Titan's Tower, the Hall of Justice, cast of characters consisting of Superman's family, or the Superman family, the Bat Batman and Robin, uh, the Titans, Wonder Woman and her family on Themyscira, Amanda Waller, of course we had Peacemaker, uh, we had the Doom Patrol, uh, the Arrow Family, Hawk Girl, Starfire, I think it was, and Green Arrow. Uh, for the overall rating, I gave a six point five out of ten. Not a very strong for not very strong for a primer. Uh, would I recommend it for maybe a new reader? Eh, it it'll help in little, but not in lot for a new reader. So now it's time to move to Tom Taylor's Terrible Titans. So, moving into first things first, does this cover in any way, shape, or form connect to something that is happening inside with the story? Uh, sure enough, it does, to which I give a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the internal arts, which we'll have a look around the beginning, middle, and of course the end. So, as we look around the beginning of the story, we see that something is hap has happened to Wally West. And, of course, he's racing to f try to attempt to fix things up. And we do know at the end of the story that he does get killed. No doubt he will return later on. But killing off Wally West, considering how much of a good run he has had so far in the story, not really necessary. As we start to jump towards the middle of the story, we get a bit of a kaiju event uh, where Beast Boy goes up against Titano. And of course, the heroes doing some saving with things going a little bit full retarded um, with Tom Taylor bringing in uh, Peacemaker, who's also working for Amanda Waller. And the Suicide Squad. Uh, putting a bit of a threat towards them. And saying that oh, what they're doing is ruining the environment. Do they really need that message? I don't think so. Pretty retarded. And last but not least. Towards the end. Which they turn up at the Titans Tower. Which is built upon the Bloodhaven Prison. Yeah. <clears throat> For the internal art, I gave it a 6.5 out of 10. So how do things go in relation to the story rating? So moving into first things first, did we get any comic references? And uh, sure enough, we did. To which the comic reference is made in relation to a future comic that is coming out in connection to this. So you'll probably be waiting maybe four to six months for this particular comic to tur turn up. So that this is a bit of a wasteful effort, I must admit, and it's very lazy, it's bad press, <laughs> and it's for Tales of the Titans issue 4. Why issue 4? Why not make it issue 1? Uh, considering that this is connected to the event that centers around um, Raven and Beast Boy. If anything, shouldn't it be issue 1, not issue 4? It would make more sense uh, instead of having the audience wait longer and you're going to draw the audience away pretty much immediately because of this type of bull BS. Moving into the next area, that of time. Uh, in regards to time, we got to see 20 minutes later throughout the story, which was mainly towards the end. Uh, the location, of course, Bloodhaven and Titan's Tower, uh, to which they still have not captured Heartless. Uh, maybe it was actually Heartless that killed um, uh, this Wally West. I, I don't know. 
Or maybe because the editorial are heartless. <laughs> and um, that's a metaphor for the editorial or some of the editorial. That heartless represents the editorial in Tom Taylor's run. Because of some of their bad decisions. Cast of characters consisting of Wally West Flash. We had Raven, Beast Boy, Garth, Tempest, uh, Nightwing, who is Dick Grayson, Donna Troy, Starfire, Cyborg, uh, Titano, and last but not least, Peacemaker. For the overall story rating in this, I give a 6.5 out of 10. Not very, not a very strong start. So until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.